Today is the 14th day of March, a Sabbath, Sabbath day in the Bahamas indeed, Nabucco. And again, Kai Mills is in campaign mode. And what I'm trying to do is trying to expose all the crooks and the cronies. And how is this going to get me elected? It's going to get me elected because this government came into power and say they will not do anything underhand. That was their campaign slogan, transparency. And when you look at what's going on in Abaco, it's anything but transparent. We had a break on how this guy know this stuff. Everybody watched my video, and um, I know the FNM waiting for me to make a mistake. And they could prance on all on top of that. And why is Kai continue to do this? Uh, because the FNM asked me to do this. The FNM said, watch us as we become the government. Everything will be above board. There will be no crocodology. Um, people will know what you bid. We will know forward who bid. Well, it was looking okay there for a while. Uh, the 22nd, 22nd of last month, the contractors sat down with Richard Bruno. And Richard Bruno said, this is the way forward. Everybody would bid. We will get a bid. You would take your bid and bring it to him by the government complex a quarter to the time. If it's three o'clock, Okay, we'll bring your bid, everybody, a quarter to you. can bring it before, and you can bring it after. Quarter to three is when your bid should be in. Then at three o'clock, we will open the bid. Kind of, the little thing we were bidding on, and I thought it was a little overkill um, because of the stuff there by BAIC Park. So we did that. But K4 Smith... It's the woman that has all the power. Nobody else. Harm knows he might as well pack him up and send him home. He's absolutely weightless. He has no power. He's powerless. They, you imagine they um, set up a ministry for Harm Lewis, and all of a sudden he's insignificant. This woman come out of nowhere, K. Forbes Smith, and playing the bulldog. I assume the Prime Minister and Darren Henfield love what she's doing. But two weeks they said no contract will be issued at all. Until you send in a bid. And the board with K. Forbes Smith happened to be the master over this board. They, the board, will pick who shall do the contract. Well, two days ago I was in Dundestan. And I thought it was ironic. All the work that still needed to be done in Dundestan. Uh, Caribbean solution. A part of Bahama striping. They always show up. There has to be some collusion with somebody in government that Caribbean solution could be getting all this work. And then they lying on the numbers. I hope they're not sending the, the, the numbers into my good friend, Desmond Bannister, because Desmond Bannister ain't no fool. And Desmond Bannister, all you can do is listen to Kai videos and watch. Caribbean constru construction, uh, Bahamas Striping said they had 100 people on the ground in the mud. That's a lie. Never happened. Fast forward, two weeks, everybody's supposed to be not working. So I went down the ba basketball court. I see about 20 young men, 10 to 20 young men there. Uh, overkill, it's a small area of the basketball court. So I asked them, what are y'all doing here? And who authorized y'all? Because nobody's supposed to be waking until K. Forbes Smith and our board sit down and authorize. Fair play, transparency, good. Uh, no, we're doing a favor for, for Minister Henfield. That's okay. If that's all Darren could find to do um, since he's become minister, the only contract that he could do, free deal in Dundestan, I'm with that because he's cleaning up Dundestan, whether it's the basketball court or not. But after seven months, only Darren Henfield could find that the basketball court should be cleaned up. And they did a poor job of cleaning it up, rushing and rush out. Fast forward two nights ago. I think it's on the, today's the 14th. 
on the 13th, uh, the 12th, we found two bodies. Their bodies are still being fined in Abaco because of the dismal job that the government has been doing. Two nights ago, two bodies was found in the back of Abaco Shopping Center, right across from Dove Plaza. And lo and behold, this company showed up again, waking feverishly. Again, it's Caribbean uh, uh, solution. How did they get a contract when Richard Bruno, the man on the ground who's the liaison between back then Desmond Bannister and right now K. Fall Smith said that there is no work supposed to be done? Well, I did my little investigation and this is when the crocodology come and somebody got into jail. I read it's Darren Henfield or whoever. If the rules are changed, the game has to be transparent. Here today, Caribbean Construction was given a mandate to continue to work when everybody else was not able to bid on this job. And their excuse is because it's a continuation of the mud. That's hogwash. Everybody contract stop. Caribbean Construction have already put in their bid for the work they've already done. Stop means stop. This is a new beginning. You can make whatever excuse you want to justify crocodology. All of a sudden, Caribbean construction, again, that already probably made millions, again, no transparency. Nobody know what they've done. Nobody know what they have bidded for the continuation of what they're doing now. That is unacceptable in a transparency and a transparent government. Why isn't anybody else working but Caribbean construction? Is money being filtered through Caribbean construction to Darren Henfield's campaign and the FNM campaign coming up? It has to be some kind of collusion because if Richard Bruno said two weeks ago, it's got to go out to tender and Caribbean construction was given the mandate, okay, we get, we're giving you three weeks to finish clean up in the back of Marsh Harbor, which they said is a continuation of the mud. <laughs> they can't even fool a fool. How did Caribbean construction able to work on Saturday when nobody else have a contract? Even more so, why it was so idiotic, all the works that being done and need to be done, because K. Forbes Smith came in there, everything has to stop for two weeks until K. Forbes Smith sit down with her board. I know one person on that board, Fred Gottlieb. And Fred Gottlieb, your name is in there. If you see that these people are studying crookedology, you need to resign from that board. This board is absolutely going nowhere. You imagine when the board was established, they removed a member, a black man, one black man from Abaco, one, was on the board. He was promptly removed before the second sitting of the board. This almost two months later, Darren Henfield can't even find one person, it reminds me of Hubert Ingram, he couldn't find one person in North Abaco to give a little nothing job of senator. Nobody Hubert could find to give a senator job to. Today, they moved the only black fella off the board to represent a black area. They don't like for me to call it black and white. I call it what I see it, what it is. And today, two months later, this white nothing board cannot find a replacement from the black for the black brother that they replace. And today, who authorized Caribbean construction to continue work when Richard Bruno, the government man from Canada, said nobody will get any work. That is what we want to know. So the work continue. We're here in the front of Dove Plaza. It's uh, one of the biggest plazas in Abaco that's being destroyed. Just right across the street. I just want to bring people into the into the uh, the program of how the government is colluding with a company 
that is hogging up all the business here in Abaco and Abaconians ain't getting nothing. There is this boat here that uh, was floating on top of that roof. Marcus is doing a great job to try to repair that. But uh, the reason I do this is to try to bring the people close to what's going on here. As I try to do my video. And you can see the manpower inside here. And only one company, got all these bins inside here, one company is able to work. And one got big bins. Oh man, they got bins. Big truck. They could afford when they finish in Abaco, these guys don't have to work no more. And right here, this company keeps showing up. This is a government company. There has to be some government person, minister involved with Caribbean Pavement Solutions. This can't be of normal basis. Everybody, all, all hands on deck. You see down there? Just trying to bring the Bahamian people up the breast of the crookedology that was going on with this FNM government and this Caribbean solution. How is it? Everybody else was said to stop, but they continue to work. And that is why nobody trusts this government to deal with this virus that's going on because they're not transparent. Everybody is staying home, but it's a, it's a sad day. And they told most people not even to work on sad day. But here we go. Everybody is working. I want them to move that ship. That's what I want them to move. Give a contract to move that. Don't leave that there as a landmark. So I'm just taking my time to bring the story to you. All this stuff, Caribbean solution, everywhere you go. It's going to surprise the Bahamian people when they see the number of Caribbean solution that's concluding with the government. The number's going to be amazing. I'm bringing you the story on a sad day. Richard Bruno word don't mean water. When you said we shall sit down and tender two weeks later, Caribbean construction is the only people that are working all the people in Abaco that has equipment they're not allowed to clean up Abaco only this Caribbean construction wow and we keep selling there was there in Henfield the monies that are made by Abaconians shall be spent in Abaco Caribbean construction money will be shared with them and the government them that ain't gonna help Abaco to rebuild at all Kai cares on a Saturday, Sabbath.